relational prayer embraces confession and repentance. Relational prayer embraces confession and repentance. I think this is the number one thing that's missing in so many of our prayer lives. It's just non-existent. Elijah says in the middle of his prayer, you have brought them back to yourself. This is a prayer of repentance. Other translations say it this way, you have turned their hearts back to you again. That's what repentance is, is turning and going the other direction, repenting. I'm not gonna be this way, I'm gonna be this way. Uh, Jesus said it this way in his prayer. In the middle of it, he said, forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. What do we all see right now in our country? Anger, division. We've never been more divided. It is just so dark right now. What's the thing you hear people saying all the time? Love. Man, why can't we just love one another? I want to submit to you that the greatest expression of love is forgiveness. That's why we have the problems we have in our nation. We won't forgive one another. And Jesus, in the middle of his prayer, he says, God wants to forgive you, but you also need to forgive one another. Uh, and, and what is the greatest expression of love? The cross. I mean, God loves us, and he expressed it in the greatest way by saying, you know what, I'm going to send my son. He is going to die so that you, I'm going to forgive you through my son. That is the greatest act of love. And listen, the greatest opportunity we have for healing in any relationship is forgiveness, is repentance. The reason relationships break apart and they are divided is because there's a lack of repentance. We won't ever say, will you forgive me? And I think this is why many times we're not hearing from God or why God feels so distant is because we've harbored unforgiveness. We need to go to God. We need to repent so that we can be restored and he can heal us in our relationship. Relational prayer embraces confession and repentance. And 